All right, so I'm going to do some quick releases. And what's making me laugh is I said in 2020, God was like, quick release, quick release, quick release, because I'm doing quick releases. I'm going to call this one dedication. The reason I'm calling this one dedication is because he keeps telling us, like, stay ready. He's been telling us that it's easy to understand for a kingdom spouse, but sometimes I don't think we always think about it as far as like opportunities and stuff that may present themselves. Okay. I am aware of the fact that there are things that I used to want to do when I was a child. There are things that I miss doing. The example I'm going to give y'all, because after speaking to this sister in Christ, I said, I think I need to get on my channel and testify as to what just happened. The other night, I was reminiscing on the time I spent pouring into my children at the Boys and Girls Club in Auburn. There are a couple of them that still follow me on the internet. They're grown now. They're like, they're grown like they're not my babies anymore. And I miss when they were my babies. I miss when I could go in and talk to them. I was, I was heartbroken and kind of like what Courtney was saying um, last night. And it was funny because I was telling my mama, like, I don't feel heartbroken, but I guess I wasn't really reflecting as much as I should have been. I was heartbroken that that season was over the other night. I did like, I was upset about it. Like I was crying about it. not upset, like mad, but upset. Like, you know, as something about the season that you miss, I'm sad because all my babies have grown up anyways. Like they don't need me like how they used to need me. Now has it crossed my mind that some of them might be watching me on YouTube? They might, right? Do they remember their miss Megan? I hope so. I pray so. Right. And so I was just talking to God about this. Something else, if y'all haven't figured it out, if y'all can't tell by how I get on here and I speak and the different things that I did last year, it is my desire to speak. I have done like um, private speaking sessions, impromptu type of speaking things. I've always spoke at different things and stuff at church, but like I know God has called me to speak. That's a part of the prophetic cheerleading and I create my own platform on YouTube to do so, right? Along with that, I kind of have the control over here and I can make it as deep as I want to make it. I could talk about God as much as I want to talk about God. Okay, it froze up. I don't know if my face froze if y'all gonna see me talking or not. And so um, other things that I've just, you know, like th there are things I don't always talk to y'all about because it's like personal to my life. The only reason I'm saying something now is because I just want it to be a testament to how quickly he's moving, to how he heard me crying about this the other night and he presented it to where I could do something that he knows I'm passionate about. Also, let me throw in there is like the stuff I've experienced with um, different things. Like even I spoke on that a little bit this morning. I don't go into details about what I've experienced, but it was like one of those things to where like it put a bad taste in my mouth and then God challenged me on it. That's why I said, okay, at some point I'm going to have to talk to y'all about Greek life. I just don't know when I'm going to do it. He challenged it. Was it an idol? All that. But then he released me back to it and I didn't understand why if he was showing me different things. The thing being how I truly do not like engineering like that and y'all know that like I've told y'all that but was I capable of doing it yes was I smart enough to do it yes did I have to look up to girls women who I wanted to be like okay I engineering gave me speaking opportunities even back at school okay do you get what I'm saying like God you don't know what he's going to use to open different doors for you okay and so when they say the phones are ringing the phones are ringing just like the opportunity I had this summer to speak Y'all, that came out of nowhere. I don't know if I, I told y'all about that, but it was at night where I was just crying and I was like, Lord, if this is what you're really saying. Like, you make a way and I'm going to say yes. Like, I don't care how uncomfortable I am. And a king called and requested me to do it. It was a big deal. Okay, I don't, I don't think I've talked to y'all about any of that, but I knew he was moving in my life back then. But you don't know how he's going to open it up. This job that I so desperately wanted to leave, I was thinking about leaving. I got that opportunity. Had I left, I never would have been able to do that. I never would have got that exposure. My mama texted me this morning and she was like, uh, you know, your so our auntie Kim gave your number to somebody. And I was like, what's she giving my number to somebody for? Because y'all, I'm really weird and sometimes I be in a mood and I just don't want to be bothered. I'm listening to Nipsey Hussle. This is why I'm calling this dedication. I've been listening to him a lot lately. And in the song, he says like something like, when will um, opportunity meet preparation? And we already been talking about that. You're going to wake up in a new season. All that bad stuff, all those seasons that you wasn't fond of, that's the stuff that prepares you for the palace, okay? And he even talk about reparations, running up in your bank, taking stuff. Like he say something like that. Y'all know we've been doing, I'm coming out with my hands up. But I was literally praising and worshiping, listening to that, posted it on my story. And my phone started ringing after I got dressed. Okay. The person who want, wanted to speak to me, the person who wants to talk to me is somebody I don't know. You don't know where they are recommending you. You don't know where your name is coming up. Guess what I'm now having an opportunity to do. 
Speak to kids. Pour into kids. About what? STEM. Do y'all know how many things of mine that knocks out needing to practice the speaking, needing added exposure, talking to them about something that I've already done, knowing it's a little girl in that room who's going to look look like me, look to me, and need to know that she can do it. She can do it because she's looking at somebody who did it. Do you get what I'm saying? My passion for kids, all of that in one. Not only that, because it gets better. So at this point, I'm already on the phone about to cry. But it's a believer, a sister in Christ who called me. She could feel the Holy Spirit in me through my words, through me speaking. I could feel it on her. True destiny connections, okay? Not that fake stuff the devil be sending because he didn't send me some opportunities that I had to say no to. I just didn't have peace on it. This, I had immediate peace. Only God knows that I was up here. My heart was crying about missing my kids and stuff. Okay, only that, but she has women's groups in the ministry and stuff that she's working on too. Like when I, I I had told her, like I might need to testify. She was like, you might need to. Where she talks about kingdom marriages, kingdom unions. Sis, guess what I do on YouTube? She's just just as much in shock as I am in shock. Okay. Sis, guess what I do on YouTube where we talk about this? We talk about what it's like waiting. We're talking about standing. We're talking about how we want the God-ordained unions. We don't want to be out here throwing ourselves in marriages, being legally tied to people God never intended for us to be tied to. Wait, you talk about all this in addition to being an engineer and loving kids? Be ready. It's not just with your kingdom spouse. Be ready, be ready, be ready. The new content that I told y'all he was having me think on to get ready to release on YouTube, that's what we will be talking about at her events. That's the type of panel discussion I would be on to talk about the things that God has already had me on the internet talking about. Y'all know me. Sometimes I release, it's not for me. Sometimes I release and I testify. I share my experience at the exact same time. I ain't saying this for play play. Be ready. If you're in this wave with me, be ready. I didn't see this coming at all today. My phone literally started ringing. I always think when my phone rang and I had just said that to somebody in the comment. Um, I don't know, sis. Like He just be telling me to be ready and I get ready and my phone ring. I, I just made that comment this morning. My phone started ringing. Somebody I do not, somebody I do not know like an hour later. He moving. Like, listen, every time he do something, he, I told y'all stop playing with me. You did. You said stop playing with you, God. Stop playing with him. And she was confirming so many of the things, so much stuff that we say over here all the time. Like, sis don't even know me. One Holy Spirit. One Holy Spirit. Okay? And I'm just, we both almost start crying on the phone because like, what is this? God. He not playing. El Shaddai. Okay? Be ready. All that stuff we went through, it was preparing you for your position. He good. Like, he told me to get up. I didn't know what I was doing today, but he told me to get up, right? I'm not playing with y'all. Bye.